What's up, y'all? Hope you guys are doing really well this weekend, and I'm really excited to bring you guys this, which are optimal stocks or ideas for a long-term portfolio. So the importance of having a long-term portfolio is the scalability aspect of it. So with day trading, you can't really scale as much as liquidity is a big factor. You got to get in and out positions with ease while for a long-term portfolio or longer term swings, you can just hold on to the stock and it will slowly go up with less effort. And you can also check your long-term portfolio, maybe like 15 minutes per week and you'll be good. And also this long-term portfolio, you can also use it for leverage for other things such as getting lower interest rate loans and real estate deals and etc. which will build your net worth even more, allowing you to get even more capital, to get even more stuff. So it's a positive compound effect. So let's get into the keys. So pick whatever stock company that you want to hold for at least five years, something that you find very valuable in. So don't fall for a high penny stock. There will always be the next big thing, which may be beneficial for day trading since those stocks have a lot of volatility. However, you want most of your long-term portfolio in well-established stocks, not companies that have a high chance of failure. So you can allocate some of your portfolio for more riskier ones, maybe 50% of the larger cap companies, 30% for slightly riskier ones, more innovative but still safe, and then maybe a little 10 to 20% for the super risky ones, the companies that you like and also really focus on the long-term vision so really try to have stocks where you can safely hold at night without losing sleep over and you'll be good so let's get into the keys so also, oh, oh yeah, that, that was one of the keys, Lamau. Okay, so the second key is to add in capital monthly, no matter what. So that's just, this is called dollar cost averaging. So if you want to grow your wealth, you got to make it a priority, not just optional. So make it happen, add in 10 to 20, even more, 30, 40% if you have higher income to your investment for portfolio, let it work for you and slowly accumulate and grow in time. So let's get into the stocks. All right, the first category is that's one big boy. So you got your big players. You got Apple, they're involved with everything. Microsoft too, Google, Facebook, Amazon. So these are the future. These are essential. They're larger cap. They're very slower moving, but they're always constantly growing. So these are very safe plays, especially with the Amazon, Apple. They're really amazing. So. I would put a large amount of your portfolio into this category, maybe 20 to 50% of it into them as they are safe and also constantly growing. So they got the best of both worlds. The next one is living essentials. So these include grocery stores like your Walmart, Target. They include accessories like toothpaste, like your Procter Gamble medication, Johnson Johnson, Coca Cola, Dollar Tree, gas like the Pacific Gas and Electric Company, General Electric, communication like Verizon, AT and T, T Mobile, etc. So these are things that are necessary in society that allows to function. So by having one of these, these will be a lot more safe and stable for you to have. So if you're less risk averse, then allocate some more capital into these kind of necessary plays. The next one is capital flow. So you got Square, PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, the banks, Wells Fargo, JP Morgan, Allied, American Express, Synchronicity, etc. So these are places where people store their capital and also transfer in and out their capital to exchange with different people. So money is a factor in society. It's very necessary. So having the means to this is 
going to benefit you as these are constantly growing, especially with Square and PayPal as they're involved with the crypto industry and others will too. So it's kind of like that one analogy where instead of selling the gold for like the California gold rush, you sell the shovel instead. So these are the shovels. Next off, we got the land of the free. So like your Simon Property Group, your Dardens, uh, Zillow, Redfin, or Realty, Pershing Square, Townsend, etc. So these are the ones where they're involved real estate and they own the land, like your malls, like for SPG, and etc. So these will always be necessary as people will flock to these and people will always live in homes. So this is another more safe and stable one. And these may be more beneficial too, as SPG and DRI have been hit hard by the pandemic. And within one or two years, they're bound to explode higher. Next off, we got travel and transportation. So you got your Boeing, United Airlines, Delta Airlines, JetBlue, Alaska Airlines. You also have your trip planners, Expedia Trip. Then you also have other car companies like GM Ford, Toyota, Moda. You also have places where you can stay, like Airbnb, Wynn, Marriott. Then cruise lines optional too. These are riskier, but they're higher. Ward, the Carnival Cruise Line, the Legion Cruise Line. You got your Uber Lyft, the classic ones where people can take you to places and deliver you food. We also got Grub and Dash for delivering food too. So these are also pretty necessary in society as you have to travel. And especially with the pandemic, there are different food delivery services in which they are benefiting you more as people are more scared to go outside, such as DoorDash and Grubhub. Next off, we got technology. So this includes gaming like Activision, Corsair, your chip makers like AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, Micron, etc. computers like Dell, Quantum, Kong, got your social media like Pinterest, Snap, you got your SaaS software as a service like Docu, Sign, Adobe, CloudNet, Tulio, Snow, SalesNet, Zoom. So these are also necessary as they will innovate in the future. They're slightly riskier as there may be another company that may come in and swoop in and innovate. So, but they're also very high reward too. So these would be part of the category like the 30% that you want to allocate to that will have a larger room for growth potential. But they're not as super risky, but they're not as super safe too. Next up, we got Entertainment Central. So these are things that will entertain people. People want to be entertained. So like Disneyland without streaming, Six Flags, MGM, the casinos, Caesar, Big Busters Play, got an online gambling of DraftKing, Penn. You got your streaming like Roku, Netflix, Vivo, and you also got your deals like Groupon and Spotify for listening to music and they're getting into videos too. Then we got shopping shenanigans. So these are like your e-commerce, like your Shopify, eBay, Etsy, Wish, Overstock, Big Commerce, Fever, Upwork. So Fever and Upwork are more services that you can buy that you can outsource your task if you have a business or you want to do anything like you want something graphic design or something like that. Then you have your retail galore. So these are your favorite shopping places. You got your GameStop, Foot Locker, Gap, Macy's, Nike, Kohl's, Nordstrom, Urban Outfit, Under Armour, Best Buy, etc. Alta, Lulu. Then this also includes hardware stores like Lo HD, then UPS, FedEx are the shipments of those. So pick whatever places that you like whether that be Macy's or your favorite stores like Etsy, etc. And someone got the munchies. So these are their food places. So pick a couple of your favorite food places like Chipotle, Starbucks, McDonald's, Jack in the Box, etc. Put a little common area. And you got Yelp too, the go-to food place or for reviews. So could be a fun, diverse investment. 
picking your favorite food places too, as people will always flock to these. And back to the future. So this one's an interesting category as these are the disruptors of their field. So you got your Tesla with its electric vehicles, solar and all the other things it's doing, beyond of the vegan food, T Doc with the online healthcare that you are they're constantly looking up innovative fields, space on space, SP, etc. Palantir, QS, I like QS right here. With their salt state batteries, their solar JKS, Nantan, ETF, Chewy, online pet food. So these are also part of the 30% too, that are higher reward, but also slightly riskier too. And we got Shi Foreign. So these are your favorite stocks that are outside the US, like Neo, Baba, just like the Amazon of China, Jimia, just like the Amazon of Africa, by doing great service, JD. Also, uh, another great e commerce. So, pick whatever stocks that you like overseas. Try to be open to stocks outside of the US as there are lots of opportunities out there. The last category is my as well diversifier. So, these include other ones like gold, silver, platinum, uh, copper. You got stocks tracking Bitcoin like Mara, Silvergate. GPTC, Bitcoin itself, Ethereum. Then you also got other currencies too. So well, Forex, got like Euro, Forex exchange, Euro, Yen, that's those Canadian dollar, value money, monopoly money, real estate, angel investing, other businesses, yourself. So like working on your fitness, your health, your nutrition, make sure you eat right. So if you eat right, you feel good. You're always in shape. You're going to have no problem trading. You're going to have a big edge over a lot of people. And your bad sleeping conditions can be the best bet possible. And the optimal environments, hobbies, etc. So just investing in yourself. So it's all about staying in the game long term so that you can make the best investments possible long term. So, hope all this helps. I will send out the documents in the comment section and etc. So, hope you like these kind of videos. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe for more. Type in the comments whatever you want to suggest for future videos, and I'll be happy to make. So, have a good day and talk to you all next time.